Nights fall in Tunis and violence continues. A man is led away by baton-wielding security forces. This man is dragged away. Screams fill the air. These images follow a day of protest that ended in the ousting of the president. Locals say there's a breakdown in law and order here. This photo was sent to Sky News by a woman claiming it shows police looting a store. She was too frightened to give her name, but told me about gangs on the streets. We are really scared. I can see that some picture on the net. The whole country is in tails. It's the police that are causing the trouble, I think. And the media are warning us that there are some gangs on the street, and they have given us num numbers to call for help. But every, everyone is calling for help on the TV. Tunisia's long-standing precedents left the country amid violent protests and clashes with security forces. <laughs> clashes where police used tear gas on protesters and handed out their own form of justice. <laughs> Thousands descended on the interior ministry asking for a new beginning. They've called this the Jasmine Revolution. What began as demonstrations over rising food prices and jobs ended in overthrow. The ousted president Ben Ali has fled to Saudi Arabia after reportedly being refused entry into France, a claim officially denied by the French government. British holidaymakers return to the UK, some having witnessed the bloodshed. Others have accused their tour operator of acting too quickly. The North African destination relies heavily on tourism. Unrest will damage the industry. It offers so much from coastline to culture and the great city of Tunis, all within a reasonably small area. I'm afraid now, though, an awful lot of people will be thinking, oh, might be the time we're booking our summer holiday, but we're going to cross Tunisia off that list. The international community has condemned the violence in Tunisia. Foreign Secretary William Hague and the US Secretary of State have called on the authorities to resolve the situation peacefully. But that may be hard to achieve. Gamal Fambele, Sky News.